and tune in iTunes and of course Radio Loyalty. A great new marketing partner with us today. A Transmedia Worldwide, absolutely amazing stuff. Let's go to them. They are one of our brand new marketing partners. Digital Lizards of Doom is a fantasy adventure series inspired by role-playing video adventure games and Saturday morning cartoon shows. Check it out today at Indiegogo.com. Search Digital Lizards of Doom. That's I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Search Digital Lizards of Doom. Give them some of your hard-earned money today. Tell them you heard about it here at Transmedia Worldwide. Okay, we are going to go to Pam Oaks, who is going to join us on the old Skip Skype here. In just a few seconds. Hey there. And I believe I'm we've doing. got Pam Oaks. How are you, my friend? Great, how are you? Pretty good, actually. Uh, Pam Oaks joins us today here on our big program. Coast to coast, to border to border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. Pam, uh, I can't see you on Skype. Where, where, where are you? Have you, are, 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 are you, are you in, are you in a secret location? There we go. There we are. It's working. There we are. Okay. Well, a lot, 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 lots of times I have, I have people, I have people who call me from, from secret locations. So I didn't know if maybe we were talking to you today from a secret location because, uh, you're, 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 you're wanted by the, by the auto experts for giving too good of advice. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, some of them don't like so what they, I have so to they say, wanna, but, they, you know, they want I to hunt speak you down. the truth. I always speak the truth. <laughs> so, uh, so Pam, uh, you look very fashionable today in your, uh, in, in, in your work, uh, gear there. I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool. You know, I had my old t-shirt on and I'm like, this doesn't look too professional. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome so uh so pam oaks uh the the auto expert uh you know just uh i i always like to like to have her on each week and uh, discuss some of the different issues of the day uh what do you have for us this week pam because you always have very interesting stories tidbits uh, uh, all sorts of things <sighs> well you know i was going to tell you about some of the practical jokes that text pull on each other in the shop but i gotta tell you this one story this one story last night takes the cake <laughs> so i get, i get home and uh may long story short neighbor texts me and the neighbor didn't go for the i work for the irs gig <laughs> and he saw too many toolboxes in the garage so he says can you come over and help my son with his brakes he's gonna He's going to DIY it right there in the garage. And I'm like, wow. okay, <laughs> of course I'm going to look. I want to see what he's doing, right? So I walk down there, and he's got two wheels off, but on opposite ends of the car. Wow. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I says, let's pop this other one on. I says, we'll take it from there. I says, safety first explained about safety jacks and all that and i said so you're gonna do brakes on this right and he goes yeah and he goes all i have to do is put the pads in i'm like no i says look at the rotors i says they're literally cracked i says okay i says i'm gonna bust you in front of your dad you're doing hard fast braking i says the rotors are literally cracked on this infinity i says <laughs> we, we gotta change them out and he says yeah i guess i do kind of running a little fast and his dad's looking at him and I'm like, you know, cars don't lie. So I says, what kind of tools you got? Let's, I'll, I'll walk you through it. Let's do a lesson here. And I mean, they had maybe five or six sockets of various sizes. Wow. You know where this is going, right? <laughs> I'm, Holy smokes. I'm, yeah, I'm walking back down to the house to get the appropriate tools needed to do this. And this is like one of my pet peeves. I tell everybody, don't work on your car at home, especially brakes or a tire issue, because if you can't stop or you can't steer, 
somebody's going to get hurt or killed. You can't start the car, that's fine. Nobody's going to get hurt or killed. But if you can't stop, there's the consequences I unimaginable. Yes. So I went down there and um, changed them out and everything. And I was sitting there thinking about that afterwards. And I'm like, you know, if I wasn't here, he was still going to do this. So what was going to happen after this point? Which goes back to, guys, you, girls, I don't care who's ever listening out there. Don't touch your car if you don't know what you're doing. Even if you think you know what you're doing, have a professional do it, especially when it comes to tires or the brakes. Because, I mean, he didn't even have the lug nuts tight. See, was, this, th this is... I mean, that one came right off the car while you're going down the road, so... This is the thing that I always run into when I when I deal with with people who who want to do all this. For whatever reason, the world th there's a lot of people in this world that think because they see somebody take a house apart on a DIY show in 30 minutes, that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> that's not how it works. I just get I just get so tired of all this. Uh, you know, I, I had, um, and, and I guess, you know, I haven't died and I've ridden in the car several times, so I guess she did it right. But, uh, uh, my, my lovely, uh, significant other, who I also uh, like to affectionately refer to as my assistant, which she fucking hates. Um, she, uh, <laughs> she, re she replaced the brakes on her car and she's like, oh, I'm going to replace the brakes on my car. And I'm like, oh boy. This is not going to go well. Well, it, the car's driving and it's fine, so she must know what she's doing. But that's like one out of what a billion people that, that got people. that done. Because uh, they, they had not a, <laughs> I ended up doing it. And I says, you know, if you were at my shop and I owned my shop before I sold it, yeah, I said I'd be charging, and their their jaws dropped. And I says, this is why. I says. Because I have the experience and I have the tools and I know what to look for and I know how to keep you safe. And I says, that's why you go to a professional. Yes. His... It is, it is yeah, just it's, a it's, hell of a instead deal. Instead of texting me at 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> saying, could you come down for five minutes? Could you, could, 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 could you <laughs> just come down here for a I'm first... walking back home at 10 o'clock at night, you know? That's right. So, uh, so essentially... It, why, why do folks think that it is so easy to do car repairs and, and do all this stuff so, you know, nonchalant, like, like, like they're sharpening a pencil? Um, I think you hit the nail on the head when you just said they see the stuff on TV. It's done in 30 minutes. You know, they see this compressed show of how to do something that takes days or weeks Yes. You know, in a hot the DIY house. Yes. And they see it in 30 minutes. And they go, oh, that's easy. I can do that. And it's a little different than just watching the TV show and saying, hey, or watching uh, what I call YouTube University. Uh, <laughs> video. You can learn anything on YouTube, Pam. This is you how get... you do it. And it's like, no, this isn't how you do it. <laughs> this, this experience behind it. You know, there's there's yeah, there's do it. there's there's but. people who uh who who think they're journalists or who can run professional wrestling organizations just by watching some YouTube clips. So uh, why not fix cars? Exactly. <laughs> hey, did you see that one? And they've been advertising it ever since COVID nineteen has everybody stuck in the house. It's a, it's a video series, and it's a group of professionals, entertainers, and what they do is they talk within their wheelhouse about something, and there's one of them, and he's an astrophysicist. I'm not going to say the name or anything like that because I'm not promoting anything, but he has this one I recommend everybody to watch, and basically what he says, you think you know something, but you don't. <laughs> and he explains the science behind it. And it's just brilliant. And it's like, everybody should be watching this. <laughs> we, think, we think we can do, and it's like, oh yeah, I can do that. It's easy because this is what I do for a profession. And it's yeah. like, no, wait, wait, back this up. <laughs> 
That's fantastic. <laughs> That's not how this works. That's fantastic. <laughs> so after watching that, yeah, before you attack something that's out of your wheelhouse, I mean, I'm going, okay, wait a minute. Let's let's really look this over first. Yeah. That's how people yeah. have to look at car repair. You know, it, it is I, – I, I don't know. It, it is It is a hell of a deal. <laughs> it just is. Uh, people just don't seem to – I, I, I guess they think because they see somebody do it and it looks easy, they can do it. Is that is that kind of what it comes down to? That's basically what it is, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was in a shop last week, and um, they were going to do an alignment, and I was just passing through. I was doing something else in the shop for somebody for something. And uh, the kid took the wheel, and he shook it like this, the left front wheel. And he says, yeah, it's a little loose, but it's okay. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. no, it's not. Please. It's loose. Yeah, I see this on okay. YouTube University. That's okay. It's allowed to do that a little bit. Jesus. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. So I guess they heard me go, oh. <laughs> and they kind of stopped and they go, oh, what? And it was like, no, that's not okay. That's not okay. Uh, Please. Well, well, Pam, before, Pam, before we let you go, how do people uh, find you online, uh, get involved with you, uh, and everything? Thank you for asking. Um, it is findmeautohelp.com. Find Me Auto Help. We uh, help you with any consumer concerns, uh, finding an ASC Blue Seal shop, how to find out if you have a recall. It just, it's a plethora of things, and it keeps on growing each week. We keep on adding to it. That's awesome. Yes. That's fantastic. I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, uh, Pam, we will uh, talk to you next week, and uh, we'll have more craziness as usual. <laughs> next week, I'm probably going to talk about the practical jokes because that one's so much fun. I've been building up on this. <laughs> well, we will cover it next week. Thank you, Pam. Have yourself a wonderful Thanks. week, my friend. There she Thank goes, you. Pam Oaks, uh, Find Me Auto Help, and uh, we are going to take a time out. And when we come back, we have got more. If you're joining us on iHeartRadio, go, go over there and do that or go 